a pop-up adventure where magic and mystery hide around every corner. <laughs> I apologize. Hey guys, welcome to another Under the Lid, and this time we're taking a look at The Shivers by Pop Fiction Games. Now this is a game that surprised me a lot. I was at PAXU, and what we like to do at PAXU is try to find all these smaller guys. You know, we, we, we go off into the, into the hinterlands and find some really unique games, which you can check out on our channel. We had interviews with a lot of small-time publishers. I, I hate to use the word small-time because it just feels bad, but you know, smaller publishers that had really, really knockout content. And I don't know if it's getting easier to produce board games, or maybe there's a lot more labor love people out there, but there was some amazing stuff on the floor. And one of these games is The Shiver. Now, this guy, I saw him, he was going by. And the cool thing about this game is that it's a mystery kind of a storytelling game, but it has these pop-up, pop-up, rooms like the, like literally they pop up and it was walking by the dude and misfit tom remember we were walking by and he just kept popping it up and it, like the whole room would form so it's like one of those 3d books yeah, and like books. it was like a pop-up book yeah and it was super cool i'm like we have to talk to this guy so we went and did an interview with him check it out i'm sure there'll be a link up here with that interview and uh, it was a, an amazing storytelling game and I'll, I'll go through as we do this unboxing here for under the lid and it even says on the front pop-up tabletop mystery adventure now Oh, look at this. We have a little RSVP for frightening fun. You are invited to visit Shivers Moon to join our Adventurers Club. I love Adventurers Club. And there are already a couple of expansions for it already, I've noticed. So I, I think it just came out, though. So, I mean, man, they, they jumped on that quick. So we have um, our instruction book. There's actually a tutorial for this because you have to build this game. This is the Quick Start Tutorial Guide. It is two to six, which I like. Amazing. Nice. Love this. Yo, you think? Oh my God! Yeah, I know. I saw. Uh, my wife loves spooky anything, and she even putting it together. She's gonna adore that. Yeah. Oh, without a doubt. Um, and that was what fascinated me first, because you actually have these cards, and I'll show you. But these cards slide in the back of the pop-up buildings, and they provide on the back everything the storyteller needs. Because someone plays a storyteller, knows the mystery. And he is, it provides him the info he needs to 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 the players because what happens is this goes behind there and you're open different parts of the pop up uh, room and find little clues. And there's different little, like there's usually three parts and it'll tell you it'll go through the different things that you set up for your basic setup. Flight of the Bumblebee is I guess an expansion, but you got a lot going on here and you'll see and you'll see you'll be amazed. I I I, I think you missed this, didn't you, Tom? I yeah, don't think I didn't get to see you didn't get to see this at all. And I think actually I think they're playing this on Dice Tower even right now, if I'm not mistaken. When we filmed this anyway, I think there was a live play of this and it just looks super good. The art is awesome. I mean, check out the art. They did a great job, very stylistic. I like the evil Ooh, chicken. Tentacles. <laughs> yes, it's <laughs> Uh, you gotta, he gets a little excited there. Uh, <laughs> we got, uh, Skulls, very Scooby-Doo vibe. Although I like the Roach Monster because it reminds, that's got, it looks like a men in blackish kind of a little bit. And I love the Chicken Monster. That's great. And then here's your local Scooby-Doo chapter. Is there a chapter? It's like the cooler modern version of the Scooby-Doo gang. You have your, your, your daddy and your mommy and you have your kids. And then you have like Velma and Daphne, I guess. I don't know. And then they have micro-sized characters, which I thought was kind of cool. I don't know why we have tiny characters, but I guess we're going to find out. Tiny. So tiny. Now, there's going to be a lot in here uh, because there's just a lot in here. So, each one has an actual guidebook. So, you have episode guide for each storyteller. The Lost Kitten. <laughs> the Lost Kitten. Oh, yeah, Amanda, Amanda is going to freak when she sees this. Lost Kitten. Uh, let me see. Evil, evil Intent. Get it? Evil intent. Uh, 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 uh. Sounds like it. my Cub Scout. Yeah. Outing. No, oh wait. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, even your dog. Even even Derby didn't like that joke. <laughs> uh, Dad is missing. Well, that's that sounds very uh, sad. Actually. He just went to get cigarettes. He'll be back any day. <laughs> He'll be back any day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you for that. Yes. <laughs> That was, that was good. Yeah, Tom got a good one in there. Uh, so we have our storyteller companion, our full instructions, and our lore, lore book. So they don't skip on the lore. I, I'm going to guess it's a very, very, like a family trees and everything. So they give a lot of depth. You're not just playing a game where they're just kind of just throwing it out there. They give you a whole background for each of the characters. Dude, check this out, man. Just in case you happen to be blind, like me. I'm actually not that blind, but... Uh, uh, what is this sealed in? 
What is plastic. this? Oh yeah, plastic. Yeah. It's hard plastic. Okay. You have your little magnifying glass because some of the clues are going to be very small. You have your standees for your character boards. And then you have your, it works and it doesn't work because you're obviously going to be testing things and trying things. And so you probably roll dice to see if whatever you're doing works or doesn't work. Pretty self-explanatory. You got your marker. Come here, Tom. Let me draw a mustache on you here real quick. Boop, boop, boop. Can, can add that in later. And then uh, we got our characters. We have Riley Shivers, Rashida Shivers, Frankie Shivers, Elijah Delgado. He must be adopted. Brighton Shivers, an Autumn Lark. That is a 13-year-old who hangs out with them. That's kind of weird, but okay. I guess maybe just hangs out with the family. Yeah. Yeah. Friends, friends of the family. So it's a family game. It's a family game. That is exactly right. Looks kind of, although the kid's got a tennis racket, man. He's going to whack somebody with that thing. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Now here is the Coupe de Gracie, as they say. No, that's not how you're supposed to say it. That's how I'm saying it. That's what we're going with. So these are the rooms. Now the rooms actually go side by side. But let me see. I don't want to break this. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to do this over here. Ready? Wow. Pretty cool, right? So yeah, it's, I'm, I'm hoping to open this right. I don't know if there's like a trick. Like uh, I feel like I should be... Okay, all right. Uh, don't break it. I'm trying not to break it. Really bad with opening things, okay? It looks like it just opens up like that, bro. There you go. Yes. So see? Pretty cool, right? Yeah. This is Peculiar Parlor. And it gives a room description on the back and it'll tell you exactly where all the stuff is. And what happens is, like I said, you slide the cards in here. Maybe I'll get a card here and show you guys how this rolls. And put this back here. And then... Oh, wow, you didn't get to see what it did on the front. Yeah. It filled in the holes. That's, that's, yeah. that's what it does. That's what it does, yes. We saw it attack you. So, um, yeah, you can, and then what happens is there are other cards because what happens is these connect to other areas. And I don't know, like, if there's a separate thing to hold them open. I guess maybe it just kind of stays open. And then you attach other rooms on. So, like, you open, ooh, you open another room, and that'll open ooh. up too. So, and then what happens is you connect them side by side like this. And then you have different rooms where your characters go to. That's the idea. Pretty sweet, right? Wow. I've never seen a game like this. No. No, super cool. And so you have different areas your characters will go to. I think the idea is they stay open because you connect them. Because they had, I mean, they had them open. I got to work out. It's probably you have to work them out a little bit. See, like, the, it just stays open. Yeah, I'm sure that was the guy's uh, demo copy. Mm -hmm. It's been opened. Yeah. Of yeah. Of yeah. So you got to like work it out a little bit, but it stays open and then you have your, your thing. So each of the mysteries, you have the same rooms, but the mysteries change. So you go to these, you go to these rooms, you have a basic board in the middle, I guess, uh, maybe to connect the rooms. And then basically you go to these different rooms and, and the mysteries will change. That's pretty awesome. Oh, the, oh, I got a little rip on this one. Oh no. Um, yeah, you got to be careful. Be very careful with the shivers. That's all I have to say. <laughs> There's a lot, there's a lot going on here. A lot being pulled. So guys, check this game out. This game is extremely unique. Needless to say, you're not going to find another game like it. It is super awesome. It is very super awesome. So check it out. It's a good, looks like a good storyteller game. You got a high player count so everybody can participate. It just looks freaking awesome. I don't really, I mean, honestly, the game almost speaks for itself. Honestly, really. But yeah, check it out. These guys are awesome. Thanks again. They, they, uh, they were nice enough to grace us with this base set here, but there's uh, other expansions and everything you can get for it. Support these guys. These are new newcomers, I believe. I think this is their only title. Pop Fiction Games. Check them out. We'll put some info below. But uh, this is just amazing. Just nobody's, nobody's thought of this concept yet, and it, looks, it just looks awesome, guys. You guys excited? You guys excited to oh, yeah. go through Sh Shiver's Mansion? <laughs> they actually really do look excited. So thanks, guys. Thanks for shivering along with me here. Don't forget, of course, as always, just check out our interviews. You're going to want to check out what he talks about because he, he explains it probably a little bit better than I do. And uh, we'll do some, of course, reviews on this and stuff like that. Go, guys, I hope you had a great time. Of course, leave some comments below. And as always, shiver on. Thank <laughs> you.